Maria Romilda serving the Cubria is an Argentine lawyer and judge who presided over federal court no. 1 of Buenos Aires from 1990 to 2017. Maria Romilda Serving was born in the city of San Nicolas de los Arroyos, in the extreme north of Buenos Aires province, to an upper-middle-class family. As a child, she was nicknamed Chuchi. She studied law at the University of Buenos Aires, where she met Havan Thomas Cubria in 1958. One year later they were married, had a son, and he was appointed military attaché in Rio de Janeiro, where the couple lived for two years. When they returned to Argentina, Serving the Cubria finished her studies as a clerk and worked in this capacity during 1966 in the offices of Buenos Aires province. When she had her second child, she decided to finish law school with her brother, who was also attending. She began her judicial career, working her way up from the lowest position to that of official defender. In that position she had her first prominent case in which she had to defend former President Isabel Perón, who had been arrested and prosecuted on several criminal counts by the National Reorganization process that was in power at the time. After Perón was overthrown by the dictatorship, her husband, who was a captain of the Air Force, was forced into retirement by the decision of General Ramon Agosti. Later she was named Judge of Minors, and there she took charge of several cases of appropriation of children being the first to return children to families of the disappeared. She was later investigated for having designated minors for adoption in an irregular manner, similar to that which caused fellow judge Gustavo Mitchell to resign in November 2011. Serving disputed the allegations and questioned the impartiality of Judge Norberto Mario Oyabide. In the 1980s, she was subrogated judge in a court of higher education. There, she presided over the Puccio family's case. On 19 November 1990, then-President Carlos Menem appointed her a national judge in criminal and correctional court No. 1 with electoral jurisdiction. She presided over the case known as Yomegate, which accused Amira Yoma, the president's sister-in-law, of laundering money from drug trafficking. In 1992 she filed a judicial appeal to censor the comedian Tato Boz for a satirical sketch he was about to perform on his television program. A civil court ruled in her favor, and the order not to use her name was applied to the well-known humorist. In response, a chorus of celebrities dedicated a song with the refrain, Judge Baru Budu Budiyar as the greatest. There is, on the 9th of November 1999. Serving the Cubria questioned Michael Townley, a former member of the Direction de Intelligencia Nacional. For the first time he not only confessed how General Carlos Prats and his wife were murdered, but also how he fled Chile in 1973 to avoid arrest after the murder of a worker in the facilities of the TV channel of the Catholic University in Concepcion. The latter deed earned him admittance to immediately join the DINA's secret squads. Judge serving the Cubria issued orders to police during the 20th of December 2001 demonstrations in the Plaza de Mayo. She later initiated the prosecution of Secretary of Security Enrique Mathov, Federal Police Chief Ruben Santos, and Police Commissioners George Elfino Palacios, Raúl Andreozzi, and Norberto Gordiero on five counts of culpable homicide accusing them of propitiating through their ineptitude the episodes of generalized violence that went on in those days. In 2008, the judge filed an appeal to block access to any information and images of herself existing in the search engines Google and Yahoo that did not have her consent. However, the National Chamber of Civil and Commercial Appeals decided to withdraw the request in June 2013. Judge serving the Cubria issued the Rizzo ruling which declared unconstitutional the reform of the Magistracy Council, called Democratization of Justice, by the ruling party. The decision was later confirmed by the Supreme Court. In the 2010s an Argentine court accused Antonio González Pacheco, a former police inspector, of committing criminal acts in Francois, Spain. He was sought for extradition in 2014. By serving, the request for extradition was refused by the Spanish High Court on the basis that the statute of 
limitations had run out on the accusation against him. In September 2013, Serving de Cubria opened a case to investigate the alleged baby theft that occurred. According to the complainants, in Francois, Spain, on 31 January 2014, the first complaints of Spanish residents were received after the authorization of the Argentine consulate in Madrid. In December 2015, Serving de Cubria, as a result of an action initiated by the Cambi Moss Alliance, issued a declaratory sentence that established a time for the end of the term of President Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, and the beginning of that of Mauricio Macri. On 26 December 2017 Maria Romilda Serving, 